getting ideas for orchard, future orchard. We saw some really good pricing at Intermarche for fruit trees established about this size for only $24.99 and they want $40.70 here. I don't think they're that thick. Oh yeah, they were. You sure they weren't a little bit on the thinner side? No, they were this size exactly. Not as thick as this one, but these two for sure. 41 euros. Well, it seemed to be the going price on the internet too for a good healthy stock. Yeah. I mean, who knows? When they sell them at the supermarket, you do wonder if they're healthy, right? There's no point of having olive trees where we live. 119 euros for that one. Oh, a baby fig, yeah. <laughs> We had a person come out and estimate that our fig tree will revive itself within the next how many year or two? That person being my mother? No, the, no, the the guy who came in to do the estimate for the tree. Oh. He saw the fig tree and he said it should probably rebloom. Uh, I think and he was joking about three to four years. Three to four years. I think uh, I would hope by next year that it should be good. Oh, good. Forty-four euros. I think that's reasonable. We could have planted our own. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't propagate. That's okay. We'll have plenty of time. Um, what's that? It's already blossoming pigs. Oh, yeah, here we go. It's the red Bordeaux pigs. Yummy. 55. Whoa. But see how thick it is? Yeah. No, definitely. And also, look, they're watering them every single time. Yeah. So these are pretty well taken care of. Oh. What do you see? Aren't those those uh um persimmons yeah. or khakis en français? I wonder if those are khakis. Good for me. Look yeah, these are special. Yeah. Three thirty boom already. Okay, well, this seem to be the, the growing price. It's 54 and 40. I think that's reasonable. Cherry trees would be fun. Yeah. Are the smaller ones less expensive? I would think so. Oh, yeah, yeah 33. 37, but it, look, it's already establishing. Why wouldn't somebody get because, this? Um, it's going to take couple more years to look how thick it is yeah that's what mom said as you look at the how thick this stuff is okay is it the same thing 72 yeah it's so easy that's beautiful wow it's like a magnolia? Oh yeah, magnolia. Look at this beautiful garden gate. 954. This honey, can we look at these? This is what I this is what I came for. <laughs> This is actually, honey, we can, you know how we have the pots yeah. in front of the house? I just planted for 350. Yeah. That's a really decent deal. Look at the lavender. Yeah. These would work in the pots on the side. I would like that. A yeah. Lot. That would make me very happy. They're only nine euros. What do you think? Rosemary. Rosemary. Can... Mm -hmm. Romarin. Smell your fingers. Let me smell just... your fingers. Lavender's nine. You can get either a tall or a Those two. Or they looked like a little topiary. It was shaped that way. And as long as we keep it growing. Girl, after my own heart. <laughs> look at these. Oh,
are your little fruits. These are your little fruits. Oh, oh, see, these Fruit are. Dishes. Yeah, there we go. Grapes. You want to try growing grapes? I don't think it's going to work in our climate. Oh no, of course, our neighbor. Are you sure? I told you, he's got like nine different grape vines. He's using for table grapes. They're really nice and old now, too. Really? Yeah. Oh, there's plenty. You can definitely grow the grapes here. smell the chocolate mint before I'm obsessed I'm obsessed for our little pots outside Oh, it's lavender. Yeah. Lavender rosemary. You have two different kinds. One's fertilizer, one's dirt. You mix the two together in your little workbench. That seems reasonable. Oregano, no, we kind of stuff, oh, we so. don't. You're gonna put them in one trough and they're gonna mix and match. Then you're, so gonna, they have a, you're gonna have a chocolate mint pineapple. Oh, yeah, we don't I'll keep that. these separate. Uh -huh. oh, I can't wait to infuse these in water. Mm -hmm. I can make uh, ice cream out of this one. Mm -hmm. Okay, but do you see anything? Well, no? well, the only thing we haven't bought is rosemary. I just don't know where we're gonna put it. Yet. Should we go pick up a rosemary? I love eating coriander. Oh, feel these. Cute, Oh. These are cute. Oh, wow. Oh, these are adorable. Smell? I planted 12 of these the other day. Mm. We need to water them today. We're going to make pasta tonight. This is only 120.
would be great for little herbs. Oh yeah. Well, maybe we can find something like that at the truck or in this. Yeah, I think so. Now that we know what we're doing. It just needs to match with the front of the house. Yeah. Or, again, we do have those troughs and we said we wanted to grow herbs and stuff in the house. So. I say we get those established. Because we love food. <laughs> Very nice. I'm so impressed with this nursery. I want to look at the furniture section. I'm going to go back on the other side. These are great for how much do they want for one? Oh, 360. I like that. I like that look. Oh. Oh, Justin, look at these chairs. Mm. Yeah, those, are nice. those are beautiful. 312 euros. Wow. Maybe it comes with the table too. <laughs> so that's fun. Yeah. Oh, those are cool. Yeah, nice job with those. Especially making them the gold. Looking for a birthday gift? Come here. Okay. How are we doing on time? We should get going. Ah. It's a decorative bird feeder. Oh, you put the cute. little seeds there. Oh, that's great. Look at that little hat.
I love your haircut. It's so cute from the sides. Do not plant a tree. Such a bad idea. Instead, flowers. <laughs> You yeah. got it. <laughs> you got it. Wow. So where was it attached? Is there a little hole here? <laughs> Amazing. Good work, honey. <laughs> oh, yay. The stump was removed. This uh, rock cracked in half. And I've just come up with an idea of using this moss to cover up the fissure, fissure crack or whatever and I got it from our yard over here we have an abundance of moss growing along this area lots of beautiful soft moss here there we go and this one like so. Cover it up just a little bit. And we'll just hope that this takes over a little bit and kind of grows into the rock like these ones had. They're drying out, so need a little bit of water. The thing is they thrive in a shady place and we have a lot of morning sun. It looks, it looks a little <laughs> funny right now, I know, but we'll uh, get some pretty little flowers and plant them in the beds. Let's just call this a rock bed. Eventually, we'd like to use this garage space for future guests. So I will rake out the leaves and probably use a lot of the gravel because there's a thick layer here and put it along this area where you can see the traction of tires making an indent along the driveway. So we'll need to fill that up it's always filled with water. A little puddle there. We'll move the Vespa into the into our garage and the lawnmower probably where the woodshed is which is next door. I think that makes more sense. Dig up some of this gravel. Fill it up. So I decided to use my brains <laughs> and just fill up our wheelbarrow <laughs> and take it over there. But do you notice now it's filled up quite nicely. Just have a little bit of an indentation there. Not so bad. Let's see. It's hard to tell, but it's almost filled up. There we go. Making progress. Do I fill in that area? Or do I fill in this area? I think I want to fill in this area. Hmm. Gonna need some more gravel here. But there might be plenty to spare. And I think even here in the back of the garage, after I clear up all these leaves and terracotta. Oh yeah, there's plenty of gravel here. Okay, let's do that. Round number two. Spread 
out here. Let's see. Now I will finish clearing out the debris and the leaves and cut down the, or should I say Harry, give Harry another haircut and make a nice little opening. He doesn't seem to be, well, there's a couple of blooms there. Oh yeah, sorry little guy. Oh, actually you're a big guy, cause look, he just covers everything. Harry's looking a little more fresh, debating whether or not I wanna cut this. But the thing is, not knowing where the main root is, the more I cut, the more the vines are gonna branch out in all these gnarly ways, which is what's been happening. And um, I think we definitely need to hire a professional to come out and tell us what really needs to be done to control it. Hmm. If you guys have any ideas and wanna offer us some free advice, we would greatly appreciate it. One of the best things about teamwork is I make the mess and Justin helps me clean it up. It's all emptied out. Harry's got a new haircut, a new fringe. <laughs> then the end of the good weather, huh? All of next week will be rain. Yeah, is that true? Yeah, that's what I saw yeah. on the weather app, but you know how that goes. 1847. This is a well. Because this rock container is very shallow, I think it's a really bad idea to have these three bushes or trees, what have you, in this pot. So before they get too big and completely become root bound and grow underneath the hole there, I'm uprooting them and have plans to plant them out in the front somewhere. Just as I did with that one there and Justin and I with that one over there. Anemone poppy and a ranicula. I'm just gonna put these three here. And some primrose here.